So what is the number one thing that is stopping the majority of men from reaching their potential and being super successful? And what I'm going to share with you is that number one thing that has stopped or has been stopping 99.9% of men that have walked through our front door. And we've served over 12,000 guys, whether it's paid or free programs. And it's a common theme and it's something that keeps coming up and it's something that keeps men keep tripping over when they're trying to reach their potential. So it's Friday, it's show 452, and we're about to get into that one barrier that is stopping you from being successful. You ready? Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Boardman. And if you are coming through, then please do let me know. What would be really interesting and if you're willing to open up to it, is in the comments directly below, is that I want you to put what your number one thing is that you think stopping you reaching your potential and stopping you from being successful, okay? I want you to engage. Number one, because it's Friday. Number two, because it will help you understand what's the one thing that's stopping you. And number three, you'll share that with other people and people will be like, man, I'm not the only person. You don't have to write an essay. You just have to write the thing that is stopping you from reaching your potential and being successful. Okay, so I am going to give you mine. Um, so just before we go into it, the thing that will help you overcome that barrier to reaching your potential and being success and that one thing that's getting in your way, we're helping guys overcome that on our three-day online experience awaken your potential okay so it's incredible uh, experience uh, the sooner you register the more time you get in the elite brotherhood um, and uh, the quicker you get all of the free gifts that come with it is packed full of content it's packed full of bonuses um, go and check it out the links up here okay action speaks louder than words so the one thing that I have seen 99% of the people that walk through our front doors, whether on free programs, paid programs, the one thing that has been stopping the majority of those guys reach their potential and success is the story you tell yourself. It's you. Okay? It's the story that you tell yourself. It's the one thing that's in the way of you reaching yourself, of reaching your best self, okay? And everything that you, and everything that everybody is commenting on right now is that story, okay, is that story. If we look at why people are out of shape, unfit, mentally, emotionally and physically, it's because of the story that they tell themselves. I'm too busy. I don't have enough time. I don't know what I'm doing down the gym. I'm too nervous to go in the gym. My work's taken over. It could be any of those excuses. And it's the story that you consistently tell yourself, right? Why you can't show up, why you can't be consistent, why you can't train. And you only have to look around for inspiration. I know I always come back to this same one if you've been following me a while. Go and watch the Paralympics. Okay, go and watch those guys who have got one leg, so the blind, one arm, something's going on to stop them. That, that would surely give them an excuse not to show up, okay? But they changed their story. They didn't sit back and go, oh, I've lost my leg or I'm blind. They went, I'm going to use that as a strength to show up and I'm going to use that as a strength to reach my potential, to elevate my potential and beyond. Let's look at your relationship. Let's look at why you're not a knight in shining armour for your wife. 
because you spend too, too much time at work, because you've got your work obligations, right? Because you're low on energy, because you just want to come home and you want all of the decisions to be made for you. You want to come back and the last thing you want to deal with is all of the chaos that's at home, right? That's the story that you tell yourself. That's why majority of men are not connecting with their wives because of that story. Maybe it's one of those things, maybe it's all of those things. Maybe it's a, 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 an element of entitlement. Do you know what I mean? Maybe you're just low on energy, but not making the effort, right? What about the relationship with your kids? Being in the room doesn't make you present. Okay, if you're in the same room, but you're on this and you've just got to check that email and you've just got to send that message or you've just got to have a scroll on social media. It's a story. It's the story that you tell yourself. Just because you have the title dad, does it entitle you to the connection and love that you really want? That's what you have to work at. But the story you tell yourself is the stop thing that's stopping you being that superhero to your kids. Okay. Let's take your career or your business okay, your, that you run. Why are you not reaching your potential in that career? Why are you not happy in your job? Why is your business not thriving? Okay. And it's the story you tell yourself, right? It's the story that you tell yourself. You're going to want to punch me in the face. But me keep saying that. I get it. I would want to punch me in the face. But it is the story you tell yourself too afraid to take the leap of faith into running your own business, not willing to look for other jobs, not applying for jobs, procrastinating on looking for other jobs, not pushing yourself, not liking the management, not liking the peers, it's everybody else's fault, the blame game, the story that you make up in your head. That's the thing that's stopping you, right? That's the thing that's stopping you from reaching your potential in your job. That's the thing that's stopping you growing your business. So we look at everything and there's this story and there's probably a different story for each different pillar. There's a story why you kind of have fun. There's a story why your career's not thriving. There's uh, a reason you're not connected to your wife and kids as much as you could be. There's a reason that you look in the mirror and you don't like the reflection and you're out of shape. It's the story every single time. So how do we change the story? How do we change the story? And that was my biggest, that was my biggest hurdle. That was my biggest step when I come out of my own storytelling from leaving the military. Do you know what I mean? My story was that um, civilian life wasn't for me. Do you know what I mean? People didn't get me. No one cares. No one's trying to, no one's trying to help me. The key thing is when you're in that story, no one's coming to save you. I'm not coming to save you. You can come to me and I'll help you sell, save you, but I'm not coming to you. Okay. Um, people, most of the time, have got their own issues to be trying to deal with, right? Their own stories that they're trying to change. So you've got to make sure that you're ready to put the work in to change the story. Now, I've got a ton of guys in my elite brotherhood who are doing that right now in our coaching program, right? They're in there and they're failing and they're winning. They're failing and they're winning. It's a mountain range of a journey. And if you're not willing to put the work in, the deep rooted work that is required to change, nothing will ever change for you. And you've heard it all before, but it's true. You'll stay overweight for the rest of your life. You'll stay out of shape. You'll remain miserable in a career. Your wife will most probably end up getting sick of your moods and your misery because you're disconnected. You'll grow up and never have the connection that you could have had with your kids because you keep going around in the same cycle. You keep going around the same story over and over again. And to change it, there is no easy way around this. You've got to be prepared to put the work in because you don't deserve a thriving career because you don't put the work in. You don't deserve a body that you're proud of, a mindset that you're in control of because you don't put the work in. You don't deserve that connection with your wife or your kids because you don't put the work in. 
you don't just get a nice body you don't just get a good career you don't just get the thriving business the thriving career the adoring wife the kids coming running up to you when you walk through the front door saying daddy's home you don't deserve that if you don't put the work in what you deserve is what you put into life do you know what I mean so if you're putting nothing into it and you're constantly telling yourself the same story don't be surprised like don't be shocked that your life isn't great don't be shocked that you're starting to maybe slip into slightly depression don't be surprised that you turned your drink to try and solve your problems you've got to be able to rise guys there is no two ways about it I'm sitting here okay I'm sitting here having run a business for the last five years we made it through COVID we've made it through some rough times that's because I showed up every single day to make something of this business my business before that beach right there we had 120 people running up and down it and that was from me showing up even when other people didn't show up to classes I would work on that business I would set the class times I would show up in the early days no one would show up but I kept on going I completely messed up my first marriage completely because of the story that I told myself but the reason I have such a good relationship with my wife is because I put the time and effort into her the time and effort into my kids where I saw my little two-year-old run into the door so fast to come and give me a hug she fell over and I looked at that as a byproduct of the time and effort that I put into her I get some amazing messages of clients who have helped change their life everything is happening right now in my life compared to where it was 10 years ago because I changed the story over the last 10 years and you don't just wake up one morning and go I'm gonna change the story you wake up every single day and you go how can I improve how can I improve how can I improve build the discipline build the standards build the process 1% every day until you die it's not like a, a six-week project you change the story for the rest of your life you change the attitude you change the ego you change the perspective and then everything else starts changing with it and it's a life project it's a life project it's not a temporary project so get over yourself drop your ego stop being so entitled and start putting the work in and start changing the story or continue to live the life that you're living you know what I'm saying all right amigos if you want to change it come and join us on the awaken your program like it's your life I'm not gonna force you to do it I don't want to force people to do it because they won't show up anyway so if you want to do it come and do it it's free there's a ton of extra bonuses in there have a good weekend let's skin it out see you Monday